All right, so we're getting AI issues. Look at this, guys. Here's the drone. Look at this drone. What's up, agents? I hope everybody's doing extremely well. We're continuing on with our Astro invariants. Today, we're going to get into variant number three. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the rigor gear set. I'm actually going to show three variations of the rigor gear set I used. I thought about doing separate videos of it, but I realized everything's so close, I can just explain the basic talent changes. Anyway, if you guys are not familiar with the mainstay of this build, the original build is linked right up above now. Check that out. That way it'll fill in a lot more of these details. I'm going to go over this quick. All right, let's jump into it. All right, guys. So for this build, this is based around the rigor four piece. Two piece gives us 15% skill haste plus 15% skill duration for the three piece. And the four piece gives us tend and befriend. Interacting with your deployed skill grants the skill 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. This buff cannot be refreshed. Uh, interactions include using or deploying your skill, changing the skill's target, or healing the skill. So in all practical applications of what we're doing here, simply changing our targets will proc the tendon befriend. Let's quickly look at the chest and backpack talents of the rigor gear set. Best Buds Talent. Increase the damage buff from 25% to 50%. So this sounds like a pretty big buff, right? We'll get into that later. If we read the Rigor Gear Bag, the backpack, it has the talent. Complete uptime. Canceling your skills will reset their cooldown. So while this seems like this nullifies the need to have, run skill haste, Certain skills you can't just cancel, something like the Seeker Mine, uh, actual charge things like the Hive, the Chem Launcher, things like that. So there's only certain skills that this will actually benefit, and I have not actually found a build yet that this backpack or the chest piece is the best piece for. All right, we'll just quickly work our way down. So we're, of course, using the capacitor. This is the exotic assault rifle you get in the summit for completing five challenges. Just knock five of those out, you'll get this bad boy. It's got the capacitance talent. Best assault rifle in the game for skill builds. We're backing it up with the test subject with perfectly in sync. This, the reason I'm running this, if I use my backup boomstick and I proc future perfect so I'm in overcharge, I can immediately switch over and I don't have to ramp up the stacks like I do with the capacitor. I get a shot off with this, provided my skills are doing some damage, we immediately get a 40% skill damage and weapon damage buff. So these two work in conjunction with each other, otherwise the rest of the time I'm running with the capacitor. Of course, running with the four piece rigor set in all the non-talent spots, running skill damage in every spot. So I'm quickly gonna get into, I have two different options that I run for the chest, Two different options I run for the backpack. You gotta figure out which playstyle is best for you depending on your actual playstyle. So, one is to run the Wavern chest piece. Both of these we're gonna run the kinetic momentum in combat so we can get our 30 stacks or thus 30% skill damage bonus for both our drone and our turret. So what I would do is I'll either run a Wavern if I wanna get plus 10% skill damage or since we're running the technician and we have amped going, which does gives us plus one additional skill tier, what I could do is go ahead and run a Fenris chest piece with some skill damage, some skill haste, some weapon damage. This could obviously be a better piece, but this will give me plus 10% assault rifle damage, plus that 14% weapon damage. So this is a significant boost to our weapon damage while only being a slight loss to our overall DPS through the drone and the turret. So the choice here really comes down to 
am I going to be running and gunning, in which case I'll probably use a Fenris, or am I going to be playing more of a semi or true AFK, which I would just choose the Wyvern. Then with the backpack, as far as the high end, if I'm running with the Wyvern, I would just choose to run the Memento backpack for the confirmed kills. There's plenty of videos on this. I have a video on this. We won't get into it. But as you guys know, this is a huge damage bonus. This will give us up to 60% skill efficiency. Uh, and it's, uh, this is a huge bonus as far as the armor regen that we get. When you're at max stacks, we get 3% of our armor back per second. So that's almost 90,000 armor per second when we're at max stacks. The other option, if you don't have the memento or you do not want to run the memento, and you'll notice that we put on the Wyvern and then we put on the Fenris. Right, now we get the 10% skill damage. We get the plus 10% assault rifle damage and the weapon core damage. We also get the 25% uh, skill damage from tech support. So this is absolutely viable. It just doesn't have the survivability that the, the Memento has. So I would totally run tech support in solo play if I'm just running around uh, in the free roam. Uh, doing any sort of end game missions or anything like that, I would go with the Memento just because of the survivability and heroic and legendary. All right, guys, there's a quick note that I have to let you guys know. If we're using the Rigor in conjunction with Kinetic Momentum, both of them actually use the same icon, and they don't stack. So check this out. If I come here and I switch my chest, right, if I go over to a glass cannon, notice, notice we have Kinetic Momentum stacked, but instead of stacking up the way they do, these are just a stack the counts down, right? And now I gotta switch targets again. There we go. All right, so notice that. However, if we come here, we go ahead and switch back to kinetic momentum, right? Now it starts to show the stats of the actual kinetic momentum chess piece, and it no longer, now I just changed targets. It should get me two different stacks of that little bouncing ball, right? But it's not. So, unfortunately, while we're using kinetic momentum, we do not have any true indicator of where the rigged gear set tendon befriend proc is at. So, you just basically have to continuously switch targets to maintain the DPS. All right, let's get right into these damage numbers. All right, guys, we're going to get the damage numbers for these. We're not doing this in any particular order. So the first one is the Rigor 4 with the Wyvern chest piece, kinetic momentum, and the momentum backpack. We will extrapolate for the M30 after the fact. Real quick, so our base damage in this is 67.072 and 107.411. Kinetic momentum. Go ahead, add in perfectly in sync. All right. We're going to ramp up the capacitor. There we go, 40 stacks. Max. Remember, we want to keep changing targets, guys. All right, the next iteration, we're using four pieces of the Rigor gear set. We're going to be using a Fenris chest piece, and this first round we're going to go ahead and use a Wyvern tech support bag. Next we'll try the momentum after this, but let's get these numbers. So you guys can see our base damage, 69,420, 111,171. There we go, 90,000. So we're at 90,000. 
And 191, right? Let's see if that 191 drops. Ah, uh, uh, we just proc tech support. Alright, so... Here we go. Without any shooting, this is true AFK. Let's stick both of them there. That should give us 107 and 191. All right, now we're gonna ramp up some capacitor. All right, let's go ahead and here we go. Max damage with the capacitor and rig. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and get some damage numbers using the Rigor 4. We're going to do a Fenris kinetic momentum chest piece and the Memento backpack, and then we will extrapolate for the M30 afterwards. The stock base damage numbers 61967 and 99236. Here we go, base numbers. Re-aim and get those numbers cranked up. There we go. Test in sync without re-aiming. Test it with some re-aim. Drone AI is being really, really fucking stupid right now. Okay, max stocks. Re-aim. Keep in mind, this is with the Fenris chest piece, too, so... All right, so those are the numbers we can look at if we actually proc overcharge and couple it with perfectly in sync. Thanks for checking this video out, agents. As you guys can see, just within the rigor gear set, there's a lot of different variation with how you can play just mixing up the chest and the backpack. Um, Overall, I did try using the Rigger backpack and the Rigger chest piece and the talents just cannot compete with what either the high-end variations or the Memento backpack can add to the build. So, it's not to say they won't be buffed. Uh, there's definitely some different ways that maybe they will come into play later, particularly the backpack with the skill reset. So, stay tuned. I may have some better builds with that. Anyway, the next thing that we're going to look at is going to be using the future initiative gear set the four piece of that in conjunction with basically the same chest and backpack combinations you guys be safe out there and i'll catch you agents in the dark zone mopping up these assholes and let's see what we can find to 40, all right. Let's see why I like this gun, right? So 
Sorry, Stan. Sorry, Stan, screw. We'll be check out the server just to be sure. Reinvaded missions back to back with a busted ass controller. Fuck yeah. So I do it. Alright, right in the usual ballpark, so. We're doing good things. Doing good things, agents. Like, yo, do it. Do it now.